recently on my YouTube community page, I posed the question, should federal student loans be reported to the credit bureau? And 81% of you said no. Well, last week when I had Tate from the number one student loan lawyer YouTube channel, and I asked him the question and he gave me some feedback and I was just like, okay. So I did a little research and today what we're gonna talk about is five ways that your student loans can impact your credit report. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. Well, we know that your credit report and your credit score can be very important, especially if you're trying to buy a house, a car, you know, even if you're trying to get a new job, because a lot of companies are pulling your credit report as well. I know it's important to me because on my channel, we talk about your credit score, your credit report, but you'll have to let me know how important it is to you. So we know that your credit report is made up of five points. So you have your payment history, your credit utilization, your length of credit, your credit mix, and your new credit. So in the article, it gave a lot of, well, it gave five ways that your student loans can impact your credit report. And so I was just like, okay, it gives some really good points. So the first thing and the first way that your student loans can impact your credit report is your payment history. So your payment history is made up of 35% of your credit score. So that is a lot. So the article just states, you know, you want to make sure not even just with your student loans, with any bills, you want to make sure that you are paying those on time. And what I want to suggest is pulling your credit report and right now through your annual credit report, you can get your report actually weekly until April of 2022. Now, I'm not suggesting that you pull your credit report weekly, but you can pull it monthly so you can see which of my creditors are actually reporting to the credit report. Now, while you wanna make sure that you're paying all your bills on time, at least by you pulling your credit report, you can see, well, you know, what's the standings and things of that nature. But paying your bills on time is 35% of your credit score. And so that is a big chunk. So paying your bills on time is very important. Number two is length of credit. Now the length of credit is made up of 15% of your credit report. And we know that with student loans, sometimes people can hold on to those student loans for quite a bit of time. And I looked this up and I went to see, okay, how long is the average, you know, what's the average hold of the student loans? And it said 21 years. Now I graduated with my master's in 2013, but I had my undergrads before that. But it wasn't, it's not 21 years, but <laughs> I mean, it's up there a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, having your student loans, you know, for a uh, length of time and then they being in good standing, this could be a pro on your credit report. Number four, I think we're on number four, this is your credit mix. Now your credit mix is made up of 10% of your credit report. Now your credit mix, you know, this could be installment loans, which could be your student loans, your mortgage, your car loan, but then this can also be your credit cards. And you know, with your credit card, you can have major credit cards like Visa, MasterCard, Discover, but then you can also have a store credit cards. <laughs> Drop down in the comments and let me know, do you have any store credit cards? I mean, I really don't hear people talking a whole lot about store credit cards anymore. Now, when I was in college, woo, y'all had all kinds of store credit cards. I had JCPenney's, I had Limited, I had Zales, but okay. <laughs> but you know, your credit mix can be made up of a lot of different things. And it's made up of 10% of your uh, credit report or your credit score. So I think that's a pro on your profile. Now, the main reason that I don't think that your federal student loans should be reported on your credit report is, I mean, just think about it. Student loans are the only thing that you can get that they don't even run your credit. They don't care how much money you make. They don't care if you have a job. They don't care what your credit score is compared to if you want to sign up for a business loan, if you want to get a car, house, whatever. You have to get your credit ran. 
in my mind, I just don't understand why they would report your student loans. Now, I gave a lot of good points, and in the article, it said it a lot of good points, and it makes sense. But then on the same hand, with a lot of people defaulting on student loans, I just don't think that it's right. But the thing is, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, has stated that he wants to make some changes to how your um, creditors report to your credit report. So this might change in the near future. And I'm going to even do a video about that in maybe like the next couple of videos. So make sure that you turn your notification bell on so that you will be the first to be notified when I do discuss that. There are pros and cons to your student loans reporting to the credit bureau. And drop down in the comments and let me know what are your thoughts about this. You know, I know 81% of you stated that, you know, you're not really for it. And I, I'm still on the fence about it. But the article definitely gives some good points. And, you know, like if you're doing the right thing, if you're paying your bills on time and things of that nature, I mean, you're really not going to necessarily have an issue with them reporting to your uh, credit. I think with a lot of people going in default, I don't think that it should. And especially sometimes when people are wanting to get houses, you know, your student loans can really impact like your debt ratio, which you'll have to check out the video where Tate from the number one student loan. Um, channel where he was talking about that so he gave some valid points and he was stating that it might not necessarily be that they need to start reporting it but maybe like your FHA and your VA and all those kind of loans when they're doing your debt ratio they should just do calculate it a little bit differently so you know it's always more than one way to do something but I definitely think that student loans definitely need an overhaul. So let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, your credit score is very important. And you know, the five components, payment history, your credit utilization, your length of credit, your new credit, and your credit mix, all those make up the components. And I think, you know, the two main things, your utilization, so that could be more so with your credit cards, making sure that you keep that utilization 30% or less, I say 10%, and then your payment history, just making sure that you're paying all your bills on time. And as I stated earlier, pull your credit report because you can pull it for free through the annual credit report. Check that website out and see what creditors are reporting to your um, credit report so that you'll know which, you know, I mean, make sure you pay all your bills on time, but at least you'll know your standing. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and turn your notification bell on so that you will be the first to be notified when new content comes out. Until next time. It's not a game,